hello, good morning, afternoon, whatever it is. Uh, today we have another haul and I ordered this. Um, it's all from American Eagle except for one item that like I got for Christmas. I'm just going to throw in there because it's cute and I love it. It's all from American Eagle, but I'm going to preface this by saying this is maybe my worst haul ever. <laughs> um, normally with hauls it's like 50-50 and I'm keeping like around half of the things. This one, most of this is getting returned. Also, if you see my very messy bed, I'm in the middle of packing to go back to work. I leave in like three days, so it's been a little bit crazy around here. I ordered a bunch of stuff. All of this was sale items or had promos on it. Um, so like I had high hopes, you know, I was feeling good and um, it didn't go great. For reference, I wear a size 16 in American Eagle jeans and tops. I normally buy an extra large. Uh, if I'm I can fit a large in tops too most of the time, so some of these things end up being too big because they're an extra large, but some of them also end up being too tight and they're an extra large. So the sizing was a little bit wonky today, but we're just gonna hop into it with things that we bought. I showed some of these in a vlog too, but this has like the try-ons, so hopefully this is it more interesting. One, we have underwear. Obviously I have not tried these on, and I will not try these on, but they're like, I'm not gonna be able to open it right now. I hope I'll leave them up this way because I can't be bothered. It's a pack of three. They were like $13, I think. It's literally just plain underwear. These look like they're gonna be huge, but maybe I do have that fat of an ass. We'll see. Nothing exciting. Uh, this is like what I like to wear under like the shorts I wear at work. So two black pairs and a new pair. I think that's a pretty good deal. Three for 14 bucks. I can't do that math, but I got a bunch of other underwear for Christmas too. So I didn't really need these, but I don't know. It seemed practical at the time, you know? I guess I'll start with the things that I am going to keep. This I wasn't sure about, and I filmed the try-on clips before I filmed this part, obviously. Normally I do this as like an unboxing, and then do the try-on clips after I filmed the talking part, but I feel like this way I can like try on the items. So let me know which one you like better. But this is a little like, I think it's technically a sports bra slash crop top. Really, really cute. Again, I wasn't sure about this because it was super thick, but then I tried it on and it's super flattered on camera like it like smooths out everything so much right here because it's so thick it's very very stretchy i like that it has like this thick top it's basically like a sports bra that you can wear as a shirt and i like that it has a uh like thick lining underneath it's actually kind of like cut out underneath in the lining um so it's a little bit more structured but i really like this i didn't think i was going to keep it but then i was like Darn it, I saw myself on camera and it was cute. I'm gonna pull up the order so I can see the prices. This top was $18, which I don't think is too bad because I feel like the tops that I have like this, I wear a lot. I also already got deodorant on it, but I feel like the tops I have like this, I wear a lot. So $18 doesn't seem terrible to me. Next is this top that I'm definitely keeping. I have this in the like navy blue color and I thought I would just get it in black. Again, I wear these at work underneath my work uniforms. They're really, really comfy and they suck everything in and hold everything in. I also think these just like make your boobs look great. Um, so I do wear this top to the bar and I spilled wax all over the other one that I own. So this is this. It's definitely a sports bra. Like I said, I wear it as a top because it's double lined. It has a bra underneath as well. Super cute, super, super secure. A razor back. This is also in an extra large and this one feels small where some of the other things felt too big. So this I would definitely size up if you're between sizes. Regularly $40 is on sale for $24. Which again like not the cheapest thing in the world but I get so much wear out of the blue one. So this felt like it'd be a good addition to the collection. I think that is literally the only items out of this box of stuff that I'm keeping. So now let's Move on to the fails. This I was on the fence about because this is genuinely one of the most comfortable things I've ever put on my body. I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's just a ribbed black tank top. Um, there you go, you can see the texture there. It's ribbed, it's like thicker on the straps, really thin here, super, super stretchy, and then it has like a raw hem on the bottom. I don't know. Yeah, it has like a raw hem on the bottom there. This is so comfortable, but I got an extra large and I think I'm used to things fitting like sports bras and not shirts. So I don't want to wear a bra underneath this, but there's zero support in it because it's a t-shirt, which like I understand, okay? I get that. Um, but I think if it was just down a size, like if I had this in a large, then I would actually wear it because then I can get away without wearing a bra on it. This right now, I feel like I... It looks weird with like a top like this, like what I'm wearing today underneath it to give me some support, but it also can't be worn alone. So like, 
I don't know, it's so comfortable and I would like sleep in it or something like that, but it cost $21. So like this costing almost the same as the blue top that I would wear all the time like seems silly. So if it was a size down maybe, but just not doing it for me right now. So she's going back. This top again was like so close to being good and then it just wasn't. This one was, again, $22 and I wanted to like this, but like the sizing was just a little bit weird on it. And that is this top, it's really cute. It's like this ribbed knit, like again, super stretchy, super comfortable, almost like bustier cut top. It is very much serving Aritzia. 2014 2016 um and i tightened the strap so it fits but the problem with this is that it's tight on the boobs so like you can see where this line is it cuts in there like right on the nip but then when i wear it it like puckers here like this isn't cut properly so this is too big but then it's too small around the boobs but then it's too big around the waist like maybe i just have too big of boobs but i wanted like this so bad because it's so cute and it's like super comfortable and super soft but again, for $22 or whatever it was, like, I can't justify, you know? I don't have them here, but honorable mention to uh, the shorts that I'm going to show here. I live in these shorts. This is a size large, so normally an extra large, this is a large. They're, like, almost the same. This one's just a little bit more snatch. But the airy 7-inch crossover bike short, crossover waist bike short, what I'll put whatever it is up here. I love these. I live by these. I've gone through multiple pairs of these. Should I probably just invest in like a higher quality one so I don't wear through them? Maybe, but I wear them literally every day. So I have like three pairs on rotation. So I highly recommend those. I got a size large for a new pair of those and I highly recommend. Now back to the fails. This shirt I wanted to like so bad and I pulled it out of the bag and I immediately was like, that's not the color I thought it was. I don't know why I thought it was going to be white because it's like not, now that I look on the website, like it's not white. It's cream, but it says that it's white. It says white as the color, so I thought it would be white. <laughs> this is not white. This was $30, regularly 60, so like yes, it was half off, but $30 is so expensive. And like, it's cute, but one, it's not white. Two, it is so see-through. So I can like wear this structurally without a bra, which was the goal. So like, if this wasn't black, honestly, I would probably really like it because I don't need a bra to wear it. It's like tight enough. It's very comfortable. It's a little bit weird in the arms. The arms are like a little big, but overall, look at it. It's so cute. It's got like the square neck that we all love. It's got the ruching here. Um, the shoulders fit really well. Like I said, it's a weird shape in the arm because it like tapers, but it doesn't taper enough. And there's like absolutely no stretch in this fabric. But then the back of it is stretchy, so it's very, very comfortable. I got this in an extra large. I think it's the right size. Besides it's like, big in the armpits and the arms and then fits perfectly everywhere else but it's one entirely see-through so you can fully see me nips through it uh and two this is in white like this is this is fully cream so couldn't do it and my battery's dying battery switch time i think i've purchased this before and then i returned it so i don't know why i continue to think that i'll like it but I love the concept, but I just know that the fit is not my vibe. This is a cute little tennis skirt. So here she is. For, okay, so comparing the last shirt, this is white. This is not white. Okay, we're over it now. She's so cute. Look at it. It's just so cute, but I just have like some fundamental issues with this. Um, this is an extra large, which is definitely my right size so like i wouldn't size down or size up in it i don't even know if you can size up i don't even know what american eagle sizing is like for this but this was, was regularly 65 dollars. it was on sale for 25 so a really good deal and i wanted to like this so bad because it's like it's so cute like i like this material this is the same material as the bike shorts that i love so this is super super stretchy it's very 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 high-waisted it's got pockets in the shorts like <sighs> i like everything about it but it's just, maybe it's just not me. Like maybe this like preppy girl aesthetic is not my vibe. But I also just think the cut is just not good for curvy girls. I get that the shorts underneath are short to try and hide them. But one, the shorts aren't even fully hidden. Like even when it's hanging like this with no body in it, you can see the shorts like layer here, right? Those are the shorts. You can see the shorts hanging 
even when it's like this. When you put a giant butt in these, it's super, super short. You can see the shorts like kind of in the back, definitely on the sides. Uh, two, the shorts are just too short. Like the whole point of a skirt for me is to have shorts underneath so my thighs don't rub when I walk around. But if you're only going to put a three inch inseam short in a skirt and then make the skirt barely cover my butt, my thighs are still going to rub and that like ruins the whole point. So like I know that it's the aesthetic to have it be short, but for me like it was just too short. Like I liked the look of it, but I know functionality wise I would never be able to walk around in this. Also, I get that they're thin and it's white, but these little shorts underneath are entirely completely see-through. I can't even like, you can see like where my hand is versus the other layer of fabric. So, so, so see-through. So like the fact that it's too short, you can kind of see the shorts in a bunch of it. And then it's also see-through where the shorts are. Like, I just couldn't get behind it. And I wanted to because it's so cute, but another one bites the dust. That is that. That's a very short little haul before I go and return this stuff tomorrow. But I hope you enjoyed and I hope if you're someone who's like a similar body type to me, maybe this gave you an idea if you want to like purchase items of even this kind of style, you know? I'll try to leave the links to whatever I can in the description down below so you can check them out if you are interested even though most of these I didn't like. All my links to everything else as always are down below so you can go see clothing that I actually like that I wear all the time on like my Instagram and I will see you guys next week. Bye!